this presentation. Uh, the Senate reopens a probe over a legislative query on the Ministry of Trade and Investment and the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority over the 14.3 billion naira that was illegally transferred from the 2017 budget of NEBSA to Nigerian Special Economic Tours Company. This is a breach of the 2017 Appropriation Act. This committee intends to see the, to the end of the query and inquiry as to find the logical, so as to find a logical conclusion and seek an explanation how that sum got moved from government coffers ostensibly to a private company without due process and without provision of goods and services. The Senate committee had in April this year, during the 8th Senate, directed the former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Okechukwu Enelama, and acting managing director of NEBSA to return 14.3 billion naira to the federal government. The committee said that more appropriations have been made to the company. We would seek to find out the relationship of this company to your ministry and to NEBSA to warrant it being appropriated uh, funds directly from the nation's uh, coffers. We've taken note of, um, you know, this, uh, the issue of the query, and we're going to follow up on that, the query concerning this uh, appropriation. Permanent Secretary to the Ministry of Trade and Investment, Edit Sunday Akban, revealed that the money was not eventually released to the company and that it is still in the custody of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He also distanced the ministry from the appropriation. The 14 billion naira was 100% controlled by NEPSA. It had nothing to do with the main ministry. The main ministry has no power or authority over what they do with the amount that is appropriated on their particular agency. But if we do not get the response quickly enough, then we'll raise the matter up again on the floor of the Senate and make sure that a full inquiry and a public hearing is conducted so that we can see, uh, come to a logical conclusion as to what exactly happened. The Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment was created to help diversify the resource base of the economy by promoting trade and investment with special emphasis on increased production and export of non-oil and gas products. The Senate Committee on Trade and Investment also lamented that agencies such as NEBSA and oil and gas have overlapping functions. When we came on board, uh, we too saw, we noticed when we had the briefings, we noticed these overlapping of functions. We also noticed uh, a need to trace projects and programs. And having seen this um, lack of visibility of some uh, projects, we have proposed to establish, you know, within the ministry, a delivery unit so that when we have these uh, uh, budgets and so on, and other initiatives were able to track and give reports as and when due. It can be recalled that the National Bureau of Statistics revealed that Nigeria's non-oil revenues fell by 17% in the fourth quarter of 2018 from the preceding quarter. Consequently, oil revenue accounted for 71% of the total federally collected revenue, which rose by 82% to 13.3 trillion naira in 2018 from 7.3 trillion naira in 2017. Roots TV, Nigeria.